If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, welcome to Learn JMeter series. In this season 2, episode 3, we are going to learn about DNS Cache Manager. What is DNS? So DNS is nothing but a domain name system where it will convert your domain name into IP addresses, just like a telephone directory. Assume that before this DNS cache manager uh, created or assume uh, that you don't have the DNS cache manager element in your test plan or you have disabled it, how JMeter handles the scenario? So by default, JMeter uses the JVM DNS cache, meaning it will always hit only one set of uh, servers or cluster. It will not hit all the resources behind the load balancer because everything got cached in the JVM. So in order to test everything, all the resources in a round robin fashion, that is where DNS cache manager comes into picture, which will help you to test your applications, which have several servers behind the load balancers, for example, CDN or anything, when the user receives contents from different IPs. So this is the official definition of a DNS cache manager from the documentation. This DNS cache manager has two uh, sections. One is you have to mention the uh, DNS resolver, whether you are going to use the system DNS resolver or you are going to use the custom DNS resolver. And there is a section where you can fill the static host table where you have to uh, mention uh, the list of uh, host name to the IP addresses, which we are going to see it in a moment. So this is how a DNS cache manager looks. Uh, in this uh, snapshot, I have enabled the uh, clearing the cache for each iteration checkbox and I am going to use the uh, custom DNS resolver uh, from Cloudflare 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1. You can keep on adding a list of uh, DNS resolvers and basically whenever uh, JMeter uh, uh, send the request then it will uh, uh, take uh, each resolver in a round robin fashion and then it will uh, solve the name. And at just beneath it, uh, you can mention the uh, uh, from host name to uh, from host to host name or IP addresses. So this one also we are going to see it in a moment in a demo. And before you uh, get started uh, with respect to DNS cache manager, you have to keep two things. Uh, remember, one is you have to add this uh, element to the third group or to the test plan. You should not add it to as a child to uh, the element, which will not work. And it always works only with HTTP client 4 implementation. So if you are using Java, then uh, this cache manager will not work. Now let us dive into uh, JMeter. We'll quickly add uh, some elements and then we'll see how it works. Let us add a, a thread group. And inside the thread group, I'm going to add a DNS cache manager by going to config element and selecting the DNS cache manager. And here I'm going to add the uh, cloud flares uh, IP addresses. Let us add uh, the two addresses here. And make sure you check this box. Uh, sorry, check the radio button. And if you want to clear the cache, you can just uh, check this uh, clear cache for each iteration. And inside the third group, I'm going to add a sampler. And uh, importantly, the advanced section you have to select the HTTP client for and uh, here we are going to hit example.com HTTPS and let us add a view results tree and let us add a summary report and hit save and uh, let us execute with one thread one second ramp up and uh, one loop count okay now uh, we have received the response successfully but how do we make sure it is using the DNS uh, resolver. So there are a couple of ways you can validate. One is using the Wireshark or you can use the uh, Windows uh, network monitor or you can use the log level. So here if you go to options, uh, go to log level and select uh, debug and uh, hit this exclamatory icon which will bring the log viewer and clear the uh, clear everything and hit run. So now if you just scroll up, definitely you will be able to see the resolver, the DNS resolver, which should be 1.1.1. Here you can see some replacement result. So basically it is in a 
list format then as cache manager and if you scroll you can uh, see the records basically so there will be some text like hit or miss something like that so what we can do is we can just copy this and uh, paste it here and search for hit cache hit or dns search for dns so here you can see uh, using dns resolvers which means uh, it is using the uh, dns uh, resolver uh, whether the 1.1.1.1 or 1.0.0.1 so this is how you can validate uh, whether uh, the dns resolver is working fine or not now let us uh, clear this and let us uh, change the uh, log level back to info which we do not need because uh, we are uh, certain that it is using the DNS resolver. So now uh, let us come back to this uh, static host table. So static host table is a basic implementation of hosts uh, hosts from the uh, Linux background. So here uh, in Windows also you can open the host file. So if you go to uh, system uh, root 32 uh, drivers and etc folder you can uh, see the hosts file. So basically it's the mapping of IP addresses to the host names. So assume that I want to access Wikipedia, but I don't want to type wikipedia.org or wikipedia.com. So instead of I have to type just wiki. So how do I do that? So basically you have to enter a mapping here, the IP addresses to the host name. So uh, assume that you don't have access to this particular file. So by default, as a tester, we do not get access to the host file in a project because it need admin privileges. And if we are uh, editing the file, it will it, it will get messed up. So usually we don't get access. So that is where this particular uh, host table uh, comes handy. So instead of uh, editing the hosts file locally, uh, you can create a record here and then uh, you can uh, make use of uh, this particular feature and then you can uh, test your application. So uh, I am running some sample uh, Hugo website locally. So basically it's my open source contribution. It is available uh, in GitHub also. So this one, uh, let us, uh, let me run this Hugo server. So now uh, this particular app is up and running localhost 1313. So if you just click, it will just open it uh, locally, localhost 1313. And I want to call this particular uh, uh, app using open source, just open source, or it can be uh, Google also, it can be Facebook, anything, any name. Uh, and then I will be able to access this using the static host table. So for that, uh, I'm going to add a record here. So I'm going to mention open source. This is my host, which I'm going to call, and I'm going to uh, map it to my local host. Similarly, I can call this as uh, Google, or I can call it as uh, Facebook, something, whatever name you feel, you can uh, keep on adding in the uh, table. Okay, now uh, hit save. So now let us disable this uh, request and let us uh, enable uh, add the another uh, request. So this one it will hit open uh, source and the port number is 1313. So this is where my app is running. Uh, we cannot add the port number in the hosts file. So that is how it works. We, can, we, we cannot add if even if you add it will not work. So all the port number you have to mention it, mention it in the uh, HTTP request and make sure the implementation is client for and hit save. Now let me run it. So now if you see it is going uh, to the open source and it is giving the response uh, back. So this is how uh, the app looks. And now if you change it to Google and hit run, now also it will work. So basically it is just a mapping of the name. Basically it is not going to open google.com or facebook.com. It's just you are telling the network, okay, I have a mapping here, then follow this mapping. So this uh, it's very useful if you want to hit, if you want to test with multiple uh, names by hitting the same URL, same IP address. So this will be very handy. So this is how uh, you make use of the DNS uh, cache manager. But if I go to, uh, let us see whether I am able to access uh, by going like this, open source 1313. 
see it will not open because the hosts is not added to my uh, operating system okay this host file this host entry it is available only uh, for the jmeter from jmeter it will work if i want to test this particular i want to add it in my hosts file so basically what i have to do is i have to add uh, 127 1.0.0.1 and space and open source and now if i hit run okay now it is opening the app so now you got the idea i hope so the purpose of dns uh, cache manager uh, the dns servers you can uh, keep on adding the host name or uh, the dns resolvers and you can uh, maintain the uh, static host table uh, from jmeter so that you can test the multiple uh, servers multiple resources using the host name so that's it guys from my side if you have any questions please let me know otherwise feel free to go to my uh, next videos and uh, subscribe to qa insights community which is free uh, i'll be able to uh, help you out there uh, sign up at uh, qa uh, community.qainsights.com and uh, stay safe thank you if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel